Now the interesting thing about subnetting is not just the IP address, in this case 192.168.1.101, but the um, subnet mask, or what, what we're going to call, in this case, instead of using the term subnet mask, we'll use the term net mask, which is a better word to describe the net mask. And you'll often see it in the computer as 255.255.255. .255 zero or something like that right so you've got uh, 192.168.1.101 is your IP address and your subnet mask or in this case net mask is 255.255.255.0 well let's write that in binary too so I'm gonna write the subnet mask or the net mask right underneath in binary and here it is one two three four five six seven eight dot I'm gonna skip a line one two three four five six seven eight dot two three four five six seven eight dot one two three four five six seven eight and I've got two different sizes here of font so make that 24 to match it there we go it all it should all fit all right trying to match this here okay oops and I did it wrong I put ones all the way across now this equals two five five two five five two five five and then this last octet would actually be all zeros okay so that's two five five right here 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 255 and so on and so forth okay and um, if you add that up all right let's see here 128 all right and then the zero would be all zeros now the interesting thing about this is the subnet mask what it does is the net mask tells you the difference between the network portion of the address and the host portion of the address all right and wherever the ones are it's the network portion and I'll put that in red let's say right wherever the ones are is the network portion and wherever the zeros are I'll put that in let's say orange that is the host portion so it lets us know that the network is 192.168.1 um, and the host is host number 101 all right so we know now that the network is 192.168.1 and the host is number 101 and what lets us know that the ones the binary form of the net mask the ones indicate the network part the zeros indicate the host and it's that simple so f to derive that the IP address 192.168 if you were asking me what's the network address I would say that the network address is 192.168.1.0 this is the network address okay and the host address is 192.168.1.101 that is the host address and then the broadcast address is the last address in the network which in this case let's see here and that would be the broadcast address and we'll be explaining what that means a little bit later So nobody, nobody can have in the network, no individual computer can have the network address. No individual computer can be 192.168.1.0. And no individual computer can be 192.168.1.255, right? But they can be from 1 to 254. So the host addresses can go from dot one to dot 
254. All right, and how do we know all this? We know all this because of the network mask, which is Two five five two five five two five five dot zero, because of the network mask. And this is often written as a slash twenty four mask. This is like a slash syntax, right? So slash twenty four. If you were to see this nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one oh one slash 24 what that means is it's the IP address 192.168.1.101 slash 24 means 255.255.255.0 why if you count all these ones in the network mask that's eight ones plus another eight ones plus another eight ones that's 24 ones and eight zeros so the 24 here stands for the 24 ones in the binary version of the network mask. The binary version of 255.255.255.0. Two five five two five five two five five